How you feeling? You got rigs here. Are you bored too? Perfect. <laughs> Watch me clean the crap from uh, underneath the table, which was under, which was on top of the TV where I used to do all my retro gaming stuff. This is behind my couch, um, a spot that I'm usually not ever. But I used to do all my retro gaming back here, and then I moved my operations to the kitchen table. <laughs> and um, but I left all my stuff over here too, and now I'm cleaning up because I need to clean out this area. Um, I won't be able to have my spot at the kitchen table too much longer anyway. Uh, but in the meantime, here I'll show you a little sneak preview. I'm cleaning up because we're going on vacation. Yeah, this is that's all stuff that was underneath uh, the table from the stuff I had. And I'm gonna go through it with you and see what games I can find. Maybe I'll maybe there's some hidden gems. I'm going game hunting in my own house, <laughs> my own duplex, duplex hunting. All right, so uh, and I'm gonna throw away stuff too. Uh, we're going on a vacation uh, next week, and then. Straight from there, I'm going to the Seattle Retro Gaming Expo. The Seattle Retro Gaming Expo is July, uh, off the top of my head, it's like 22nd, 23rd, something like that. Um, I'm going straight from, like I'm not even stopping by home. So I'm, like everything I'm selling at the Seattle Retro Gaming Expo, I'm bringing with me to the beach because I'm going straight from there, straight up north. I'm going to the Oregon coast and then going straight up north um, to Seattle. So I got to make sure that this place is clean. I'm looking for games. Um, and let's let's see what we can find. I'm gonna throw away some stuff too. This is a net to something. I'm not sure. This was tells you how long ago it was. It's a uh, Mad Max Uber pr uh, promotional thing from PAX last year. So it's been since PAX that I used to do this stuff. Oh, I found bases loaded. Set that aside. Another sports game, Wayne Gretzky hockey. Cool. Um, I think that's the only copy of that game I have too. Robocop. Right on. See, I'm finding some more games that I used to have. <laughs> Sega Genesis game. <laughs> Crusader of Sinti. Uh, not legit. I mean, this is this is the copy I made for myself, to uh, so I can play Crusader of Sinti and not pay two hundred bucks for it. I'm not gonna sell it. Just made it for myself. I found a, a Gundam leg. I bet the, the rest of the Gundam is in here somewhere. It's from a Korean thing. This is a Sega Genesis Power Cord Mark II. I don't know what you call it. It's the second, the second uh, Sega Genesis. It powers a Model Two. Powers the CDX. Um, I think it powers the uh, Sega CD Model 2 as well. It powers the. It does it also do a Game Gear? I think. Um, I'll set that aside. I could. I could always use one of those. Um, oh, it's another repro I made a while back. This is the uh, pa Papua. Papua. Um, I made this just to see if it worked, and then close that there. Um, I made it just to see if it worked, and it did. And then I realized that there's a translation. This is this is untranslated, but it's a it's a game from uh, Enix. It's an Enix platformer RPG yeah. style. Very very cool. Yes, Lily. Can I go to the store with my friend? No, don't go to the store. Not without me. Close the door, sweetie. You're playing outside. Um, I found a for PSP. It also powers a. Uh, a camera I used to have, and I bet that camera's back here too, because last time I used the camera was at PAX of last year. <laughs> and I'll be at PAX this year too. Um, I'll set that aside over there. We have a third party Super Nintendo controller. It's all broken and busted up, but it might still work. Yeah, I'll keep it. Go over there. All right, let's just go, let's look for the games here. Um, Bud Racer from Kent, apparently. Don't know if that's the uh, city or. Or it's fun. Oh, I found two more copies of Bases Loaded. How many copies of Bases Loaded do I have? Several is the answer. Another game. What do you think it is? Oh, not bad. Track and Field, the first one. I do Track and Field. Garbage. Charlie Brown Encyclopedia. Keep that. Put that in the book drawer. Oh, and the other part of the Gundam. And all formed a leg. How'd that even fall out of there? Ah, come on, you. All right, there we go. Yay, Gundam. Uh, yeah, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. All right, let's look for some more games, and then I'll let you be on your way. Another copy of Track and Field. Tag Team Wrestling from Child Life. What? <laughs> it was $1.99 back in the day, and it's about $1.99 today, too. <laughs> That hasn't gone up in price at all. Funny. An Amazon receipt for K-pop shiny socks. 
for my wife, I'm sure. Um, any more games over here? Oh, for the Genesis controller, looks like, um, yep. Um, looks, uh, licensed. It has the Sega logo on it anyway, so I'm guessing it's a licensed turbo controller. Oh my goodness. What else do we have? Anything else? Found a zapper. Love that sound. Set that aside for sure. Found a Famicom game. Just the chip of it, though. I think this was... Oh, I can tell because of that. This is the padding. Uh, this was a... It was a, it's a bootleg of Mario 3. Um, a bootleg of Mario 3 came on that for some reason. I took it out to see what it looked like. Oh, this is all, look, it's all electro taped. <laughs> I bet it still works though. Alright. Dude, seriously? It's not the parade version? Come on. Um, oh, got another Nintendo game. Golf. A classic. Dust sleeves. Uh, could possibly be the only Nintendo game that I own that I've never played. I have a power pad. I've just never played this. I should have. I should actually play it sometime. Oh. And there's my Sony camera that uses the same plugin as my PSP. So I bet there's still, uh... oh, it still turns on. I bet there's still PAX footage on here. Oh, it's telling me to set the clock and all that. Uh, no, no, sure. Yeah, when the, when the default date is 2008. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's only eight years old. Actually, this camera is... I used to use this camera all the time. Because you could do like this, and then if you're looking at it like selfie style, then the uh, viewfinder flips upside down too, so it's pretty handy. Anyway. Um, I think that's the rest. Oh, I found uh, Turtles 1, 2, and 3 on Blu-ray. Never even opened. I think I got that for Christmas, maybe. Uh, I found the Metal Gear. Metal Gear. It's a uh, horrible hard drive. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff on there. Um, all right, that's it. So if you're just bored like me, <laughs> I'm just I'm just cleaning it up over here, making sure that we have a, our place is clean when we get back from vacation because I've been. Nothing worse than being gone for a week and coming back and you feel like you have to work some more on doing that. So I'm doing that now. And uh, I thank you for watching again. Um, I'll be at the uh, Seattle Retro Gaming Expo uh, the weekend after next and then um, PAX thereafter. And there's a cool uh, retro uh, toy and swap meet coming up uh, for games and toys uh, on August. I want to say August 7th. And I'll link that below too. At least the uh, link to like the uh, Facebook invite or something like that. I don't know. So. Cool, cool. Called uh, Retro Revolution. That's the other one that's called. So, Seattle Retro Gaming Expo first. That's here in a couple weeks. I've got to make sure I have stuff to bring, stuff to sell. This is to the power. Oh, this is the power cord to the uh, the uh, portable hard drive. So, thanks for watching. And hey, look at this. I found all these games behind my uh, thing. They're not <laughs> very sought after games. I mean, Robocop's cool, I guess. Robocop's the best of the bunch. I dig, uh, I dig track and field, but oh, okay. Well, there you go. Add them to the, uh, add them to the stuff I'm bringing to sell. So <laughs> I'll clean them up first, make sure they work and all that. But in the meantime, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see where we go from here. <laughs> all right, we'll see you. Thanks for watching.